Yahweh Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise and some glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Makar Kadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Mimstone, which is world truth and sincerity. And shout out one to the Akin, scattered through the four corners of the globe, which is world truth and sincerity. And shout out one to the Akin, that be like unto the speck of earth, which is world truth and sincerity. And I say shout out one to your Akin out there. And this is a, a in the news on this August the 17th, 2022, at 4.56 p.m. Central Standard Time on this uh, Wednesday afternoon. And this is a, a news article in regard to the uh, Wall Street stock, Stocks Exchange. And this is from uh, CNNBC.com, updated Wednesday, August the 17th, 2022, 5.08 p.m. Eastern Time, and the highlight of this news article it reads: Dow Dow closes lower Wednesday to end a five-day winning streak. Wall Street moves a new retail data. It says stocks fell on Wednesday as the rally that has pushed prices higher since mid-June appears to lose steam. Traders also assess the latest retail data and minutes from the Federal Reserve. The Dow Jones Industrial Average shed negative 171.69 or 0.5%, close to at a 33,980.32, and the SP 500 slipped 0.72% to close 4,274 four points, while the NASDAQ composite tumbles 1.25 to 12,938.12 points. The 30-day stock snaps the five-day winning streak, but finished the session's high. Positively week to date, the S&P 500 and NASDAQ has slipped 0.14% and 0.84% respectively since the start of the week. Stocks were volatile as a trade assess, assess the latest Federal Reserve meeting, meeting minutes, which showed that the central banks will continue its aggressive heightening the campaign until it can tame the inflation. At the same time, the Federal also indicated that it could soon lower the speed of its tightening while also acknowledging the state of the economy and risk of a downside for gross domestic product growth. Participation judged that the stance on the monetary policy tightening further and likely will become appropriate at some point to slow the pace of the policy rate increases while assess the efforts of preliminary policies adjustments on economic activities and inflation, as the minute says. Mean, meanwhile, traders continue to climb through corporate earnings from the retailers and target sales slip 2.6% after a post earning widely missed expectations as it gripples for excess inventory. Lows ended the session marginally higher despite the mixed quarters retail sales data released Wednesday were flat in July although consumers did increase the spending online so yeah you know the Dow Jones just uh, ended a five day winning streak um, especially as the data report showing as the uh, the consumer spending was uh, still the same as usual from July. Now this is a data report for August came out. Even though inflation, consumer spending still going up. You know, as the uh, Federal Reserves, they had a meeting Wednesday uh, mending the uh, data's release came in today. With the uh, consumer spending uh, increasing averaging more higher than expected and the uh, the inflation uh, decrease 
So, you know, just like Joe Biden saying that uh, Inflation's Pact Act and saying that into law to maneuver ways to uh, lower the interest rates, lower the inflations, you know, the high inflations when you had a high of, of uh, 9.1 in July, but it slowed down a little bit in the month of August, even though consumer prices are still going up as well, too. So, yeah, expect to see what to expect in the next coming days, and we'll see if the, because uh, I believe the Federal Reserve, they still uh, trying to find more ways to continue to in, uh, raise the interest rates and then trying to find, continue more maneuver ways to ease the uh, inflations to so it can go down even more, even though the cost of consumer price is going up. You know, the gas price is consistently going up. Everything is still continually to go up as well, too, you know. Even though the gas price went down a little bit and the inflation eased a little bit, so the Federal Reserve is going to continue to monitoring to find ways to ease the inflation and the cost of spending as well, too. As even though the Federal Reserve continues to raise interest rates as well, too, as they had a little meeting today, on Wednesday, as the data report shows, um, the continuing of consumer prices went up a little bit, and the inflation rate has went down a little bit as well, too, and the gas prices are long as well, too. But expect to see more consumer prices continue to go up, and everything else continue to go up as well, too, even though they continue to find maneuvering ways to ease the uh, inflation, you know. And the uh, the more recent sign into law was the uh, Inflation Pact Act. So we're going to see how that's going to work out. But at the moment right now, everything is still, you know, constantly, consistently going up. You know, the cost of foods, the cost of goods, you know, and everything, that's still continually going up. That's why the consumer uh, spending is up once again. And then according to the data shows, the consumer spending was more online. Normally, it'd be like in stores. You know, people go to the uh, Jewels, Walmart, or places like that to shop. But most of the consumer spending this time, it was more online. Because sometimes you might find good deals online, you know. So the consumer was higher than expected on what the online sales rather than the actual physical entering the store to buy your items, you know? Because we know when you go in the store buy the food items and stuff like that because the prices constantly, consistently goes up, you know, and it's going to continue to rise and goes up, you know? And we're going to see during these uh, next uh, couple of weeks and months, see if the inflation going to either continue to decrease or increase as the gas prices as well too and the consumer spending as well too you know so you know i just want to bring out this uh, lesson as i was keeping my eye on the uh, stock market exchange now because i did a video earlier similar to this now this is like a, a actual update of the uh stock stock market the stocks have changed as the uh, dow jones uh went down ending a five day winning streak and the Dow Jones went down negative 171 and the uh, S&P 500 and the industrial as well too where all three areas uh, went down in the uh, negatives column you know so with that um so with that, I uh, hope this was uh, edifying through the spirit, power, and mercy of the Hawaii Outshot. And first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Makakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, pushing this word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, pushing this word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, that be like unto the speckled bird, pushing the word truthfully and sincerely. And before I close out this uh, sit down lesson on this August the 17th, 2022, 
5.06 p.m. in regards to the financial situation with the stock markets and bonds. So expect to see consumer spending increase more. Inflation might go back up. It all depends on if the inflation going to ease a little bit more or it's going to increase back up. But, you, but expect to see more consumer spending more high prices continually consistently goes up as well too you know so with that i will say uh shallow warm and the ball people